Kyle Korver is almost 40 years old now, but could absolutely still be in the league. Not only is he considered one of the greatest teammates ever, but this skill is pretty valuable. For the win! Bam! Got it! The fact is, Kyle Korver never announced his retirement. So why is he sitting out? The answer is a lot bigger than basketball. In this video, we'll look at how he beat the odds coming in as a late second round pick and ultimately what happened to Kyle Korver. Hey, it's Casey. Welcome to AM Hoops. Hit subscribe for five videos per week, always dropping at 5 p.m. Eastern. This is another feature Friday. But for the second day in a row, I want to thank two of our newest members, Matt Gabriel and Basile Diaz, just announced memberships last week. So look, Kyle Korver, this was actually one of the more emotional stories, and I didn't even expect it to be. And the fact that he's purposely sitting out right now, and he could come back on some team before the playoffs is cool, because I'm really gonna root for this guy. And first off, yes, he could still be in the league, and that matters, because without that, what happened to Kyle Korver would just be, he got old and can't play. But actually, he is a former All-Star and the 11th best three-point shooter ever. That looked impossible when he came into the league in the 2003 draft. You know, LeBron James, Dwayne Wade, Carmelo Anthony, Chris Bosh, all the way down at 51st, Kyle Korver. Some white dude from Iowa who balled out at a small school called Creighton. It is insane though how much basketball talent is in Kyle's family. His mom once scored 74 points in a high school game. He's one of four brothers. Every one of them played D1 basketball. Kyle grew up in a small town where religion and family were the most important things, but basketball was always there. As a rookie, no one expected him to have a big impact, but he quickly showed his talents. Invited days before All-Star Weekend in the three-point contest, dude caught fire. His superstar teammate, Allen Iverson, was cheering him on. Kyle hit 18 trays, including his last nine shots. That performance put the league on notice, and for the next 16 years, Korver proved his worth in two ways, as a shooter and in the locker room. He was passed around the league as a valuable trade chip or as an afterthought on six different teams, the Jazz twice. His accomplishments include 2005 set the Sixers record for three-pointers made, 2010 set the three-point percentage record for a season at 54%. 2014 passed the NBA record for consecutive games with a three and all-star in 2015 showing he's not just a shooter. But all those things are just numbers. Numbers. To really appreciate Corver's talent, it's about the moments. Kyle Corver. Well, you saw that again. How about two in a row, ladies and gentlemen? Yes, it is. All time. There he is again. How about three in a row? Never made it four in a row. Let's get it. And that is why they sell out this building every night to come see this man shoot the basketball. And the comparison I'm going to make right now is to Stephen Curry. And I'm not saying that Corver's game is as complete as Steph Curry, not at all. But they're both elite three-point shooters and great people. Steph actually won the Sportsmanship Award in 2011 and Corver won it four years later. Both of those guys could probably win like every single year. Yes, that award doesn't get any publicity. But I love a pro athlete who doesn't act better than the rest of us. It is insane to me that someone that rich and that famous can also be really down to earth. But I don't want to make it sound like he never missed a shot or had a bad day. In fact, one really tragic moment might directly link to why he's not playing now. On the court though, his worst slump was in 2015-16. In late December, Corver went just five for 33, including two for 27 from downtown. In January, an 0-6 game, finishing at just 42% from the field that season. It was fair to wonder, is Corver done at 34 years old? After that season, he was traded to Cleveland, and while they did compete for a title, the darkest moment of his life happened. Just about a month before the playoffs, 
Corver's mom texted him and on the phone explained his youngest brother Kirk had organ failure and he needed to rush home. The family, including Kyle, went to the hospital just as Kirk was placed at number one on the liver transplant list. But suddenly, before the transplant could happen, Kirk's body gave out and he passed. Kyle's other brother, Clayton, explained that heartbreaking moment. Getting to sit around his bed together as he passed uh, was I think, really healthy and really good. And we just got to sit around him and say, Dude, we love you, proud of you. You're a good brother, you're a good man, and uh, you can go. There is a before and an after, but you will always have four sons. We love you, Mom and Dad. We love you, Kirk. I wanted to, I wanted to honor my parents because, um, you know, when things happen like this, there's a lot of questions. And I just wanted them to know that they are so good. Kyle somehow returned to the Cavs seven days after Kirk's death. A few weeks before the playoffs, Corver scored 30 points that season, was still a contributor in the league, but Cleveland lost in the finals. So he was traded back to the Jazz for the 2019 season and played for the Bucks last year. Now today, instead of playing, Kyle is spending time with the family he's made with his wife, Juliet. And I can't help but think that Kirk's passing made him want to cherish every moment because now Kyle has three kids of his own. An article on ESPN said that Kyle would consult with that family if he does decide to play for a team later this year. With an importance on family, Corver is also one of the most socially conscious players, past or present. Late last year, the Bucks sat out a bubble game reacting to the social justice movement in Wisconsin, and Corver was all in on that protest. I just sat there in my chair with tears running down my face. And I'm looking at my jersey that says Black Lives Matter. And I'm, I'm just like, what are we doing? Look at this dude's Instagram and literally there are no fashion show outfits or look at me workout clips. It's get out and vote, then Black Lives Matter, then clean water for poor countries and suicide prevention day. This guy is really committed to use his fame and fortune to help other people. So what happened to Kyle Korver? It's not that he can't play. He's almost 40, but he hit 42% from downtown that last year with the Bucks. I just think he's realized, especially through these last kind of painful years of his career, what's more important than the game, family and making the world a better place.